This is Matrix Lord 212, and the biggest rumor of the day is basically comicbookmovie.com is stating as a rumor that Darth Vader uh, is going to be the main villain for 789 and come back. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop right there, okay? First of all, as a Star Wars fan, how is that possible? <laughs> okay, um, he defeated, he turned on the Emperor, okay, to save his son. He threw the Emperor off the thing, but the electricity went in him. Uh, he was basically dying. He died. Uh, he was burned. He was ash. So how, how, how could Darth Vader come back? No way. There's no way he can come back. No way. Um, to bring him back would totally screw up every single movie. And I'll tell you why. Um, you know, the prequels told him a young Anakin Skywalker on the planet Tantooine that uh, Qui-Gon had set up that pod race because he needed money to fix the ship. Uh, and if he won the pod race, he would also not only get the money, but he would also um, free uh, Anakin and his mother. Now, uh, he dealt with Watto, and uh, Anakin won, but Watto, I guess, changed the deal and just made it where Anakin... Well, actually, no, the ch deal wasn't changed. He just fought for Anakin to be free, uh, and Anakin won. So Qui-Gon took Anakin under his wing, and his, his intention was for him to become a Jedi uh, and for the Council to uh, vote and make him be trained as a Jedi. Uh, and he wanted to take him on as a Padawan learner. Uh, but he was also training a Jedi named Ben Kenobi at the time. So, um, well, actually, Ben Kenobi was a Padawan. And then he was a Jedi Knight. Well, anyway, I don't know. But anyway, um, he could not take on two Padawan learners. So, the thing was is that the, the, the council voted against it right away. Uh, because they basically sensed that something was with Anakin that he would turn evil. But at the end... Um, they decided that he would be trained. Um, but they still were a little bit weary. Now, uh, Attack of the Clones, uh, basically he was, uh, Ben Kenobi was training him, uh, you know, and they fought uh, Dooku, they fought, you know, Darth Sidious, I mean, they fought Dooku, and he got his hand chopped off. Uh, Revenge of the Sith was basically when he became Darth Vader because, uh, you know, he was kept having these visions where his wife Padme was going to die and he wanted to prevent that and the only way to prevent that was to become evil because he thought that the dark side with the force was more powerful than the good. It turned out that it wasn't and he wound up going down the path where, you know, he lost himself. He killed uh, younglings, which was the young... Uh, kids that were Jedi, <clears throat> and basically he became, after Ben Kenobi beat him, and he, he wound up burning in the lava, um, he was rebuilt as Darth Vader, now, uh, the whole thing was that he was the chosen one, he was supposed to bring balance to the Force, uh, but what they didn't realize was, is that, because of the prophecy, he wound up being responsible for um, all the Jedi just about getting wiped out. Uh, and the only Jedi that was supposed to be left in the beginning of Star Wars was Ben Kenobi and Yoda, and the Emperor, and Darth Vader, where there was balance. Okay, so uh, there was balance, but in a negative effect, because he basically wiped out all the Jedi. But he was still the chosen one, and basically, uh, you know, he fought Luke in, you know, he fought Ben Kenobi, Ben Kenobi vanished into the Force because he was too old. Um, Luke and Han and Leia got away. Uh, when they were on the, the, the ship, uh, and then in the next one, well, Luke destroyed the Death Star with the help of Han, and then in the next one, um, Luke had fought his father, and he found out that Darth Vader was his father, and then uh, he got his hand chopped off, um, and a Jedi, basically, I'm trying to, like, just breeze through it, it's, it's, it's kind of, like, it's more than just what I'm saying, but... He, he saw his son dying. Um, the Emperor wanted to make Luke uh, his new apprentice and to kill his father because he wanted a stronger apprentice. And Darth Vader turned... There was good in Darth Vader, and Darth Vader turned against the Emperor and killed him by throwing him off the thing. 
and then he won up you know because he already had a battle with Luke and he got his hand chopped off I believe again like uh, Luke had his hand, hand chopped off but anyway uh, he was dying and, and basically you know Luke and, and Anakin had a moment you know he took the mask off of Darth Vader when he was Anakin Skywalker and you know he had a moment and then he died and he burned him so there really is no way that Darth Vader would come back and to bring him back would kind of cheapen just about every movie because you even seen the ghost at the end of Return of the Jedi so how could you say that this is a clone how could you say anything and you know to say it is a clone is a cop out um, and to even invent the thing of time travel in Star Wars uh, is crazy too so yes this is a rumor about Darth Vader coming back it is a big rumor that he will be the main antagonist of 789 it will be a big rumor that he fights Luke, Leia, and Han as they're older and just, you know, I assume just wipe them all out because then he'll have to face off against, if there is uh, children, the children of Han Solo and Leia or Luke, and somebody will probably turn to the dark side. But that would leave Darth Vader being the emperor, I guess, of the Sith and having an apprentice. So, um, once again, it's impossible, as I see it, that Darth Vader will return. I don't see it possible. I don't see that it would make sense. And it would kind of ruin every every movie. So, uh, as a fan, I would love Darth Vader to return. I would love to have a movie where he wipes out all the Jedi, that he, that he hunts down and goes after them. You know, an in-between movie. But to say that he could live after he turned to Ash... No. To say that it was a clone that died? No. To say that time travel was involved? Now you're getting crazy. I mean, I know it's sci-fi, but come on. So, <clears throat> yes, I think it's impossible that Darth Vader would return. Do I want him to return? Yes. As a fan, as a kid, I, I, I do want to see more Darth Vader. But, you can't. it can't be at the expense of... You know all the six Star Wars movies so that's why it's a rumor and I don't know what's gonna happen if that's the case so that's it bye for now